World Foundation on Miss Nigerian Island, in collaboration with Sergius Oseasoti Ogun Foundation, decided to become the change they want to see in the society when they set up an annual charity day in Nigeria and subsequently paid a visit to four orphanage homes in Edo State. The annual charity day will be a day where people from all walks of life bring together in the same place whatever they have that they think will put a smile on people's faces and give them out as gifts to members of the community. You can call it a gift day. The point to note is that we all have those things that can make a difference in another person's life. The Miss Nigerian Island is committed to reaching out to the needy and the less privileged in the society. This is who we are and what we stand for. The idea to be the hope and smiles of the less privileged in Nigeria actually started with the Miss Nigerian Island organization Burning Desire to always be the hope in any little way they can to the hopeless and the less privileged and was boosted with the great inspiration from the founder of Sergius Ogun Foundation, Barrister Sergius Ogun, who is always looking out for ways to enhance the living standard of his people with the little God has blessed him with. To the community, he is a true beacon of hope. And to our dear Queen, Miss Nigerian Island 2012 stroke 2013, Queen Deborah Olayinka Gabriel. At first, it looked to her like a journey to the unknown, having left Nigeria since when she was a little child. But a story that started from Dublin and eventually brought her to Lagos, where she was hosted by one of her sponsors, the Renaissance Hotel at Ikeja, and onwards to Uromi in Edo State, where the event took place, opened her eyes to the fact that Nigeria will ever remain her first home no matter what. East or West they say, home is the best. This milestone is a confirmation of the popular quote that if you can think it, you can do it. The idea to make the charity journey to Nigeria started like a joke, but with the help of some people with large hearts, the dream has become a reality. The actual event started with the arrival of the special guest and the former introduction of the CEO of Sergius Oseasote Ogun Foundation, Barista Sergius Ogun, and the Miss Nigerian Island Organization crew, headed by the CEO of Perot Foundation, Mr. Peter Ogina. What happened in Uromi was an experience none of us bargained for. The turnout was so massive that we did not need to be told that our journey was that of hope and smile fulfilled. The introduction by Mr. Usifu was immediately followed with a prayer by Bishop Okosun. Thank you for your son, whom you have blessed in a very special way. And thank you for the love you have planted in his heart. That he desires today to share notebooks, clothes, motorcycles, etc., etc., to bless the orphans, even beyond, not only the orphans, every person. Father, we thank you on behalf of the name of Jesus. After a power to be the chairman of this occasion, that we do it, we may. Father, thank you for your prayers. For Jesus' name, we have all prayed. The CEO of Sergius Osasote Ogun Foundation and the host of the event welcomed the guests and the Miss Nigerian Island to Nigeria. Barista Sergius Ogun is a philanthropist who has made it possible for a lot of people in the Eastern community to get education. Apart from education, he has also been instrumental to providing water to his community and medical treatment to some of the aged with eye problems. 
the widows in his community have also benefited from his benevolence. So buying into our dream of coming to be the hope and smiles to the needy was not a problem to him. Praise the Lord. Excuse me. Our LGBT child is from Southeast. I'm going to go to Steve. All right. So children, I am happy to see you too. And I know they have been coming to your school this morning to give you notebooks. Did you like the notebooks? Yes! Okay, forget about the picture of the man on the note on the exercise book, but just concentrate and write to work on the exercise book. Will you do that for me? Yes! Okay, I just want to tell you one or two things. Do you know, as I see all of you here now, I see future engineers. I see doctors. I see pilots. And I see the future president of this country here. But to get there, there is just one little thing you will do for me, for your parents, and for your teachers. You will read your book. You will take the instructions of your of your parents and of your teachers. As they instruct you, the Bible says they will instruct you in life and in righteousness. Because they did best to you. Like my mother will always tell me, I did not break your hand, I did not break your leg. So when I talk to you, listen. So that's why I will admonish you today. When your parents talk to you, they love you. That's why they will from time to time spank you. That is why at times they will correct you. The Bible says foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. It says if you run the correction, you chase it out. So when your parents spank you and say go and read, they know what they are telling you. Because they can see your future. They can see that your future is very bright. So I will collaborate with your parents and your teachers to assist you in any little way I can. We are only doing notebooks today. Tomorrow we'll do more. Barrister Sergius Ogun, in the course of his speech, used the opportunity to announce to the audience that he will provide more scholarship opportunities to those who do well in their academic pursuits. I'm sure that my child was here. Last year we enrolled in April for some of them. And somebody called me and said, from April, they have been enrolled in April. So I was very happy to see that child that she made all her papers. And you know what I said? I said, and I asked the man, I said, did she enroll, did she write down the examination or anything? He said, the parents didn't have me to enroll next while talking about John. I said, just in case she wrote John or anything, I will sponsor her to the university. <laughs> so that is why I'm telling you today. We have already started with notebooks, but we will do more for all of you in Jesus' name. Yeah. Okay, so today, let's talk about what has brought us here today. Today, we still are doing charity day. This is the conjunction that said this to Sasso J. Ogun. That is me, my foundation. In conjunction with Perot Foundation, all the way from Ireland. You can see the beautiful lady sitting by me here. She's Miss. Nigeria Island. Clap for her. She flew in all the way from Ireland, so many miles, cross so many rivers, so many oceans, to come here and give you these gifts today. Do you love her? Yes! Yeah. Give her another big hand. Mr. Ogun concluded his speech with an announcement that a charity day will be an annual event. So you will promise me that all of you here, each one of you here, will come out tops in your class. Are you giving that promise today? Yeah. Are you making that promise to me today? Yeah. Okay, that's a deal. So you have made me a promise, made me my own promise to you. So how can I send that promise to you? We are actually a contract now. Don't forget that I'm a lawyer. So we are getting the contract now. 
you will come out tops in your class. Do you agree? You will come out tops in your class. Okay. My own part of it is to make sure, in conjunction with Peril Foundation, every year we will be doing this. I think you're doing that. Yes. This is just the first year. So we are starting to be. So by the case of the next year, some of you would have grown a little taller, fatter, or something. We will come here again and we will do what we are doing now. It can only get better. Thank you very much. God bless you. Mr. Peter Ogena, the CEO of Perot Foundation and the organizer of Miss Nigerian Island, in his speech told a little story on how the inspiration to go on a charity trip to Nigeria began. The only reason why we are here today from Europe is because last year when I came to Nigeria, I met Barista said you spoke and made school children talking about him and I asked them what has it done for you? They told me about his books, they told me about his hospital, they told me about his water that he provided for his people and the furniture and I said, Well that's amazing. And while I was going back, I started thinking, maybe we can do something to help this man with a lot of heart who is making the difference in the society. Maybe we can do something to help him. So when I go back to Europe, I said, what can we do? We probably don't have the money, but there are things we have that we know can make a difference in the lives of people. So we said, okay, we can start with clothes, shoes, he went for that to say that Barista Sergius Ogun's action has taught them that individuals can be the source of happiness to others and that every little effort counts. That we can actually be there, we can actually put hope and we can actually put smiles on people's faces with the little that we can do. For that reason, Myself, Miss Nigerian Island, have come all the way to Nigeria to do the picture we can because we've seen him doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, I want a two minutes round of applause for Barista Sergio Scotty. Come on, let's start from. Mr. Ogina then confirmed the fact that the Charity Day has come to stay as an annual event. So, like I told you before, what we are doing tonight, this evening, is that we are starting something that will happen every year. A lot of people might not have known that we will be doing it tonight, but by tomorrow they will know. So, I want to say thank you to the elders. I want to say thank you to our mothers, our fathers, and our brothers and sisters and the little children who are here. After a long period of speeches, Queen Deborah Olayinka Gabriel, Miss Nigerian Island 2012 and 2013, decided to bless the crowd with an amazing voice and an amazing song. Ladies and 
Jim Scott Jr. Another round of applause. All right. Finally, it was time to kickstart our main reason for going to Nigeria which is to be the source of hope and smile to the people. So the main event of the day started with the launch of the charity day by the chairman of the occasion. The first part of the distribution was a question and answer segment. and three winners emerged from the process. The winning prizes were presented to them by Queen Deborah Olayinka Gabriel and the CEO of Perot Foundation, Mr. Peter Oginan. At the end, the annual charity day has been established in Nigeria. We want to thank all those that made it possible and remind everyone that for this project to continue, we will always need your help and participation in whatever way you can. To the men and women who made this journey possible with your gift or participation in any way, may God bless you always.